This is Duke University. Essentially being a musician is 24 hours a day. Jennifer Coe has played violin since age three. Made her major professional symphony debut at age 11 and has performed with dozens of symphonies around the world. But it wasn't until recently that she began wondering how music impacts her brain. I also had a really bad concussion <laughs> like about two and a half years ago. I think that made me much more interested in and I cared a lot more about the function of my brain. Um, and I thought, I just thought a lot more about <laughs> the importance of having my brain work. While an artist in residence at Duke, Co sat in on a Music in the Brain class, co-taught by Scott Lindroth and Tobias Overath. The professors arranged for Co to undergo a functional magnetic resonance imaging procedure, or fMRI, that would help explain the science behind sound and the brain's ability to process it. fMRI is a, um, a very powerful technique that basically allows you to see um, activations in your brain as you're doing certain tasks, for example, or thinking certain thoughts. Co wore headphones so she could hear music while her brain was scanned. Overath monitored Co's brain activity as she completed three tasks. Listened to a piece of music, read the score of that piece of music, or um, thirdly, imagined herself playing this piece of music. When you're listening to, um, to these um, music pieces, all of this um, area um, is engaged. As Overath reviews the results, he explains that Ko's brain is particularly active as she listens to music or imagines playing. For someone like her, it, it also engages um, premotor areas, supplementary motor areas, so basically areas that are um, engaged in the preparation of movement um, as you would um, do if you were playing um, these um, pieces themselves. The experiment and its findings will now become a teaching tool that Overath and Lindroth plan to use in class. It's a wonderful coincidence and something that can happen at a place like Duke uh, that makes it very exciting and that we're able to to make arrangements to, to have the brain scan. But it certainly plays into the course content because we'll have a whole class dedicated to um, uh, you know, the physical act of performing music, uh, what areas of the brain are engaged with that. Produced by Duke University.